At Western Accord 2012, U.S. Marines and Navy Seabees are building a training course for the Senegalese military. This course is approximately four kilometers long. It has a 30-foot observation heavy timber tower that we're constructing now. And what the tower will allow the commanders to do is see their convoy along the convoy range as they fire along the live fire. And it'll provide uh, additional training for the ECOWAS and those partnership forces for years to come. The Senegalese military doesn't have the construction crews or the resources to build training facilities. That's why this project's in place to give them the facilities and the roads to access them. Over here at this ridge line, For Captain Brandon Loki, being able to provide a much needed resource to the African forces is a humbling experience. It's a privilege to be here. It makes me feel very fortunate to be from the United States. And I told my Marines this, you know, these people are no different than us. We just happen to be born in a different place and more fortunate. So it definitely puts things into perspective when you see how they're living and uh, the economics of this country and the struggles that it's gone through. With the help of the U.S. military construction teams and regular upkeep from the Senegalese forces, these training grounds should help the development of the local military for several decades. Airman Valerie Lloyd, Chez, Senegal.